what is up guys, Blue Sun JRPGs here, back with the new series. Or I guess, not. how can I be back with the new series, I guess. Um, but building a, building a great JRPG collection for $30 a month, uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to show you guys three awesome JRPGs or RPGs that you can buy every single month for $30 or less combined. Um, it may be two some months, but I'm going to shoot for three. All the prices will be off of complete games, unless it's cartridge based, but I don't feel complete's necessary. Um, and they're all going to be based off of price charting. So the first game that I have up here is going to be Chrono Cross for the PlayStation 1. Chrono Cross is a classic, classic game. I think most people who are familiar with PlayStation 1 RPGs probably already have it. Um, but it's an absolutely amazing game that pretty much anybody who likes the genre should definitely enjoy. One thing I will say is that the, that the story is one of the best stories I've ever played in any video games, period. Um, more specifically, I guess that I guess the way that you transfer between the two worlds is, is just something that I found to be amazing. And I was kind of blown away when I first saw it. Um, I mean, you obviously, go, you obviously know based off Chrono Trigger that the game is going to be based around time. But when you actually experience it, it still finds a way to blow you away. Now, some people do prefer Chrono Trigger. I am one of those who actually prefer Chrono Cross. However, a little disclosure, I never played Chrono Trigger on the SNES. I've only played it on the PS1. Um, so maybe there is, maybe there, maybe it is a lot better on the SNES. Full disclosure. But that game's going to run you about $100, so it wouldn't make this list either way. Um, but Chrono Cross, one thing I do love about this game that I wish every game did is there are no random encounters. I am the biggest hater of random encounters that are in video games. Um, I still have nightmares to this day about the Pokemon games walking through the grass. Awful, awful experiences. Um, but either either way, either way, guys. I mean, Chrono Cross for twelve dollars and fifty cents is an amazing steal. There are RPGs that go over sixty, seventy, two hundred dollars that you can't even come close to Chrono Cross, in my opinion, anyways. So if you guys are trying to build an RPG collection and you want to get some games on the PS One, absolutely start with Chrono Cross. The second game on the list is actually even cheaper. It's eight dollars, and it's for the PlayStation Two, and that's going to be Kingdom Hearts. You can also pick this game up on the PlayStation Three for like maybe what 15 bucks now at this point as well and it's going to be enhanced but the playstation 2 version is the first version i played and i thought it was an amazing version um kingdom hearts is actually the first rpg that i ever played and i think that was an awesome idea for me um i think most people who actually do pick up rpgs for the first time should probably start with the series as well too whether it be for the playstation 2 playstation 3 or the playstation 4 and the reason I say that is because it introduces a lot of characters that we're already familiar with. Whether it be Donald, Goofy, um, Alice in Wonderland, um, Tarzan. I mean, there's a bunch of different stories in this game that we're all familiar with. So I think it provides at least some basis for us to get drawn into the game. That's one of the hard things in JRPG sometimes. Sometimes it's hard to even care about the characters. And if you don't care about the character, you're not going to put 40 hours at the minimum into these games. For me anyways. And I think the combat is pretty good as well, too. Um, while the camera issues can be a problem, and they were corrected in later games, um, I didn't find it to be too bad. Um, I think this game is also going to be great for people who actually are very experienced with RPGs as well, too. Um, actually playing Final Fantasy VII and then coming back to this game, I was blown away by the ability to fight Sephiroth. I thought that was amazing. Um, it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever played in a video game. Uh, if you guys are Final Fantasy fans and somehow haven't played Kingdom Hearts, which I doubt there's anybody out there, you should definitely go out there and uh, check this one out, um, just for that alone. Now, it's, it's kind of interesting to note that two of the games on the list so far have both been Square Enix games, and that just goes to show you that the games that sell the most, the games that are the best, are typically going to be pretty cheap because everybody had them and wants to sell them. And then the final game of the list that you're going to want to pick up for the month is Lost Odyssey. Um, Lost Odyssey is for the Xbox 60, of course. You guys can see that. Um, but this is a game that is criminally overlooked. Um, it actually just came out to the Xbox One, too. I know they had it free for a period. I'm not sure if it's still free. 
but this game is one of the greatest games I've ever played. I believe it was actually created by the creator of Final Fantasy as well too. I'm not sure about that, but some some famous creator made this game as well too, and you can definitely tell. Because this game is an amazing, amazing game. Um, it's basically everything everything that was good in the RPG from back in the PS1 days. Um, and then enhanced back onto the Xbox 360 um, with the, with the top-of-the-line graphics and an amazing story to boot. Um, the combat was pretty good too. I felt like it was a refreshing, a refreshing way to do turn-based in the modern day. Um, I think most people who are traditional JRPG fans will love going to this game. Similar to Kingdom Hearts, I think this could be a really good entry point to the genre for a lot of people who haven't played an RPG before, or a JRPG before. Um, the game definitely has a more, I guess, welcoming feel to it, I'll say that. Um, it definitely feels more modern, and it is more modern, so that makes sense. Now this game was... I don't know what happened to this game. Nobody seemed to think nobody seemed to think much of this game maybe 6 7 years ago. But nowadays this game is it's really it's really blown up recently. Uh, if you go there was a time when if you go into GameStop this game was like 20 bucks a couple of years ago. I think they've I think they've actually lowered it down to about 13 14 bucks now that they're actually um, trying to liquidate it. Um, but this game you could have online for 9 bucks, 9.50. Um, I even saw, I even saw it in a local store for six bucks recently, um, so this game could definitely be had for very cheap, and I would recommend this game over pretty much any other game on the Xbox. And you guys will see by this list in the in the upcoming days that Xbox 360 has some of the greatest RPGs I've ever played. Again, guys, massive massive thanks for checking out the video. Just wanted to bring you guys a quick series on how you guys could RPG for cheap. Thanks. Boost on the JRPGs.